Very good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday, 31st of October 2023. It is, uh, of course, the uh, eve of um, All Saints Day, uh, Halloween, the eve of All Hallows. And so uh, some words about All Saints Day. From its earliest day, the Church has recognised as its foundation stones those heroes of the faith whose lives have excited others to holiness and have assumed a communion with the Church on earth and the Church in heaven. Celebrating the Feast of All Saints began in the 4th century. At first it was observed on the Sunday after the Feast of Pentecost. This was to link the disciples who received the gift of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, the foundation of the Church, with those who were martyrs, giving their lives as witnesses to the faith. In the 8th century, a pope dedicated a chapel to all saints in St. Peter's in Rome on the 1st of November. Within a century, this day was observed in Britain and Ireland as All Saints Day. And so our evening prayer for the eve of all saints. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, Lord God, sovereign God our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise for ever. Now as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions, renew us by your refining fire, and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may be ready to enter your kingdom, where sound, songs of praise for ever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The um, office hymn <coughs> for this evening is... Uh, for all the saints. <clears throat> for all the saints who from their labours rest, who thee by faith before the world confessed, thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, alleluia. Thou wast their rock, their fortress, and their might. Thou, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. Thou, in the darkness, still their one true light. Alleluia, alleluia. O oh, may thy soldiers, faithful, true, and bold, fight as the saints who nobly fought of old, and win with them the victor's crown of gold. Alleluia, alleluia. O oh, blessed communion, fellowship divine, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine, yet all are one in the fall of mine. Alleluia, alleluia. And when the fight is fit, the warfare long steals on the ear the distant triumph song, and hearts are brave again, and arms are strong. Alleluia, alleluia. The golden evening brightens in the west. Soon, soon to faithful warriors comes their rest. Sweet is the calm of paradise the best. Alleluia, alleluia. But lo, there breaks a yet more glorious day, the saints triumphant rise in bright array, the King of glory passes on his way. Alleluia, 
Alleluia. From earth's wide bounds, from ocean's farthest coast, through gates of pearl, streams in the countless host, singing to Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Alleluia. Alleluia. This evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Psalm 1. Blessed are those who have not walked in the counsel of the wicked, nor lingered in the way of sins, nor sat in the assembly of the scornful. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, and they meditate on his law day and night. Like a tree planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season, with leaves that do not wither, whatever they do, it shall prosper. As for the wicked, it is not so with them. They are like the chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not be able to stand in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning you will hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness, no evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight, you hate all that work wickedness. You destroy all who speak lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my faith. For there is no truth in their heart, and their heart is destruction. Their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O Lord, and let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their praise forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And a reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter, 20, chapter 44. Now let us sing the praises of famous men, our ancestors in their generations. The Lord appointed them great glory, his majesty from the beginning. There were those who ruled in their kingdoms and made a name for themselves by their valour those who gave counsel because they were intelligent, those who spoke in prophetic oracles, those who led the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of the people's law. They were wise in their words of instruction. Those who composed musical tunes or put verses in writing, rich men endowed with resources, leaving peacefully in their homes. All these were honoured in their generations and were the pride of their times. Some of them left behind a name so that others declare their praise. But of others there is no memory. They have perished as though they had never existed. They have become as though they were never born, and their children after them. But these also were godly men, whose righteous deeds have not been forgotten. Their wealth will remain with their descendants, and their inheritance with their children's children. Their descendants stand by the covenants, their children also for their sake. Their offspring will continue forever, and their glory will never be blotted out. Their name, their bodies are buried in peace, but their name lives on generation after generation. The assembly declares their wisdom, and the congregation proclaims their praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
and the song of God's assembled. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in Christ. We have come be before God's holy mountain to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God who is judge of all before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. So let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. And from the book of Revelation, chapter 19. Then I heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude, like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of mighty thunder peals crying out, Alleluia, for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and her bride has made herself ready. To her it has been granted to be clothed with fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, Write this, blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, these are the true words of God. Then I fell down at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, you must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your comrades who hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Here ends the second reading. And our responsory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. And the Magnificat. The saints cried out with a loud voice, salvation to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The saints cried out with a loud voice, salvation to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. And so we come to our prayers of intercession. As we pray for the church throughout the world, we pray especially today for the Diocese of the Arctic in Canada and for its Bishop David. We pray for Bishop Gregory today, uh, who is attending the Provincial Human Resources Committee, and all those who provide human resources guidance for the church. We continue to pray for the Abba Morva mission area, serving the town of Real and its surrounding communities, and we pray for all those who serve and live in that mission area. We continue to pray most earnestly for the peace of the world, praying especially today, as always at this time, for the people of Israel and Palestine, we pray for a just and lasting peace settlement there, praying for humanitarian aid to get through today. Pray for the people of Ukraine continuing to face the difficulty in that part of the world. Continue to pray for people affected by natural disaster, for those facing the cost of living crisis. We pray for those who are sick amongst them, Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Jess, Baldwin, Meyer and John. And we pray for the faithful departed among them, Les Chamberlain, who was laid to rest today. 
And so we bring our prayers to the throne of grace. Surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us make our prayer in the power of the Spirit, looking to Jesus, the pioneer of our faith that with the noble fellowship of the prophets we may discern the signs of your kingdom in our midst. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, that with the glorious company of the apostles we may proclaim your gospel throughout the world. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, that with the white-robed army of martyrs we may be ready to suffer for the truth's sake. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, that with all who are anointed by your Spirit, we may bring good news to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, that with the saints in light, we may bind up the brokenhearted and comfort all who mourn. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, that within the whole company of Christ's pilgrim people, we may come to the inheritance of the saints in glory. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy. In communion with all the saints, let us commend the world to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty God, in your mercy we prepare to celebrate the solemn feast of all your saints. Grant that their example may increase our devotion and lead us in the way of salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining me once again on this Tuesday evening, this uh, um, Eve of All Saints, and uh, I wish you a very uh, peaceful evening. Thank you.